Hello everyone, I just want to do this um, quick rant and um, it will hopefully help some people about the ASRock XX, uh, X670E Pro RS Wi-Fi motherboard and this, is how, this motherboard has a really stupid UEFI op option which if you go under CSM and if you press enable and if you click do not launch you brick this stupid thing and your only option is unless you actually flip the jumper on the CMOS, I mean not flip the jumper, you just you jump the two clear CMOS pins if you don't do that your motherboard is bricked and you get four beeps if you're lucky enough to actually have a beeper otherwise you just get I believe a CPU light on your motherboard which is incredibly stupid that this option which doesn't have a warning that, it, that doing that such an option would actually brick your motherboard and you would ask why don't you scan the v QR code while I'm because this doesn't con it doesn't contain a lot of information. Well, let's see here. Let's, let's scan it. Oops. I'm not going to demonstrate this because I don't want to. Because I don't want to clear my CMOS just to demonstrate this. But this will give you four beeps. And yes, this is running the the as far as I know the latest firmware. And what's also stupid is the motherboard does not contain any information about any beep codes. So I can't find it, I can't really find any information about it. I heard everything from CPU to um, RAM. It's just so. And the thing is, okay, let's see here. So you say, why don't you just, you know, scan the QR code for more information? This is why, because you get a 404. So. If you have this issue, just clear your CMOS and don't change this setting. Keep it on, keep your CSM disabled, which you probably don't want it anyways because you're probably going to run Windows 8 or later. I don't, I don't know why you would run anything, un, anything that doesn't support UEFI these days. And also, um, what's also really stupid about this motherboard is on the back. Now let's see if I can actually demonstrate that uh, without this thing dying. Uh, no, I can't. Um, but it can. But it has a button saying BIOS flashback. This is not a BIOS. This is UEFI. Those are two different firmware interfaces, and I keep getting tired of people getting mixed up, especially with the manufacturer, who should absolutely know better, even if they don't actually program their own firmware. Anyway, so that's the rant over. Um, so yeah, just clear your CMOS, and hopefully. And that should fix your and that should fix your issues if you accidentally um if you accidentally set your um launch video OP ROM policy to do not launch. So just do not have this setting like this. Just if you absolutely have to use your CSM, you would probably want to use one of these two. I'm not quite sure because it doesn't really explain it very well. And the QR code just gives just gives you a 404. Alright, so that's the rant. Um, I don't know how to end this.